Yeah, okay. so like I said, absorbent project is always up and down, right? So we have like two, but within that we have the cycle of yin and yang, right? So projecting is always up, but I initiate from below by condensing up. And then once I get to the limit, I get to the halfway point, then it is expanding up until I get to the limit. Now I'm going to absorb. Absorbing is always down, but I initiate from the front by condensing down until I hit the halfway line. And then I finish going down by expanding down. So it's condense up, expand up, condense down, project down. Does that make sense? Is that clear? Yeah, that clarifies it a lot. I think I, I think I mostly understand it at least. No. <clears throat> yeah, because it's about what, like, what part of the body are you using at that moment? <clears throat> so if you're not like harmonized to where you're at on the cycle, so Udo, this is coming back to like to your question um, about recognizing the cycle, because if I'm uh, I'll come back over here. So everything is a cycle. That means you get a, a cross like within your circle, right? So that means on this down here. So remember right now, we're just talking about the move, the cycle of absorb and project in the body. So we have on this quarter. So this side will be the back. Right. Well, so we have the right reference. This is the back. This is the front of the body. <clears throat> so that means on this cycle is condensing up. On this cycle is expanding up, condense and expand. Right. This is going down down so but this also like you can say is like the movement because we need to distinguish between the hardware and the software all right because the hardware of the body is always is fixed but the movement the movement is like the software right <clears throat> So if I'm not matching the hardware and the software, like uh, my action will not be, I won't have right action. So Sifu is talking a lot now, he's using the term right action. So right action comes from harmonizing like the hardware and the software with the timing and the spacing. So it means <clears throat> how are you propelling your movement? Right. So if I'm at this quarter in the cycle, but I'm trying to use this quarter of my body to propel the movement, my action will not be correct. It won't be balanced. There'll be there'll be some something there that my opponent will be able to take advantage of. So like let's come back to this, right? So let's say I'm on this this quarter of this cycle here. So I'm low. <clears throat> But I'm trying to initiate, trying to use the, this quarter of my body to initiate the movement. That looks like this, right? Like when I try to stand up from here and I initiate by opening the chest. My, my energy and my effort, you could say like my effort is on this quarter, but I'm, and my movement is on this quarter. So there's a mismatch there. <clears throat> so usually what will happen, you can say like if I'm initiating here, like with the chest, and I have that mismatch, now my Mingmin is collapsed and my opponent will be able to, um, basically I won't be able to generate like the right power that my opponent, either I'll be off balance or my opponent will be able to overpower me. <clears throat>